Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. We've got extreme wind again on the farm today, so we've got the heavy 22 cal shooters out and we've got a little small compact. So sit back and enjoy. Before we continue, this is our strategy. So the heavy 22 cows we're going to use out in the open to shoot from the roofs and then when we can't see the pigeons or when they are behind the roofs we're going to use the small little compact to walk around with and go chase them up and hopefully get a few down in the process as well. So that's our strategy, let's see how it works out. We knew we had to move quickly because now in Cape Town the wind will only get stronger as the day continues. We filled the guns, loaded the magazines and got the scope cams ready. Meanwhile, the pigeons start moving in as we started to zero the guns. <laughs> there goes a fly and that's how we zero the guns. So we are running three guns, the M3 uh, with the 800mm barrel. Now this gun has got some experimental parts on there that I can't talk too much about at the moment and it is shooting 34 grain javelins at 1100 feet per second the second one is the mk2 now this is a stock standard gun but it's got the 800 millimeter barrel on there as well very efficient only shooting the 34 grain javelins at a thousand feet per second but more on that later and then we've got the compact m3 that's shooting the 18 grain pellets at 880 feet per second so a nice contrast there so let's get that first pigeon down Yes, my first one at 91 meters. Maggie lets it rip out of the MK2 and hits this one right in the neck. The rest of the pigeons were behind the roof, so he sent Tillman and the compact to go chase them up. So, 32 meters. The M3 Compact is tuned for the JSB 18.13 grain, so we've got the front regulator on 175 bar, the back one at 125 bar, power wheel on 16, with the fine adjuster on 4.5, the valve is on line 4, and with that setting you'll get them to 880 feet per second. <laughs> That's solidly in the chest, 62 meters. That is what it looks like when you get hit with 91 foot-pounds of energy. The M3 800mm as I said is tuned for 34 grain javelins at 1100 feet per second. Now this is achieved with the valve all the way open. The front regulator is basically all open at 240 bar. The back one is at 160 bar. Then we've got the power wheel on 16 with a fine adjuster on 4.5. And with the custom parts that's on here, you'll get these javelins to about 1,100 feet per second. Now, hopefully these parts will be available in future impacts. So, yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so that was 88 meters. A gust of wind gets hold of this one and push it to the left. It hits him right in the wing, but fortunately for Maggie, she quickly adjusts and follows up with a brilliant headshot. With the Mark II Impact, we are running a more efficient tune today, so we don't run the gun on its limits. So the regulator is only on 150 bar. We've got the hammer pretty much maxed out, but then brought the valve back to line three to bring that speed down to 1,000 feet per second with the 34 grain javelins. <laughs> He's down, 96 meters. Right in the off switch and he goes down motionless. <laughs> oh, 
about 65 meters. Both of the 800mm guns are running 1 and 16 twist barrels today and that is because we are in the final testing phase with these 800mm barrels so they will be available very soon and today we are looking for instability with the 1 and 16 twist especially in high wind conditions because that's when you encounter them so we are doing our best to get all this testing done and get the best barrel out there so they will be available very very soon. At this stage I spotted a starting and that's an opportunity you don't let go. Ooh, down want go, starting about 50 meters. So why go for an 800 millimeter barrel? Isn't the 700 enough already? Well, you gain power in efficiency depending on how you look at it. Now the 800 on its own wasn't rigid enough in the past to get it working well and that was the main problem and the 700 millimeter in some cases suffers from that as well so with the Heinfrom and tension system that problem is gone and if you look at it if i put my 800 millimeter impact right next to my dreamline classic with a 500 millimeter barrel it's still shorter so it's not a bad compromise for what you get there he goes 130 meters this slug flew beautifully and this is the kind of shot that brings you back again and again. It was a solid impact as well with the tail flaring out and dropping it right in the spot. Eighty-four meters. It is difficult not to smile when you hit them like that. The impact with the 800mm barrel are now very close or on par to 22 rimfire power and I get the question a lot, why not just buy a 22 rimfire? Well for me air guns are much more fun, I can chop and change them, I can change the barrels, calibers, I can change the tanks in the front, make them compact, make them long, it's just more fun as a hobby and then there's the innovation part as well with gunpowder and that sort of things getting more scarce and more expensive it's good to innovate and get the power of these guns to a level where they can compete and replace that same with electric cars if we don't do that innovation now we're going to be in trouble when we run out of oil so that's why i like them that's why we push the limits and i think it's a very important thing to do <laughs> it's 101 meters and down <laughs> 70 meters and down. <laughs> 106 meters, I think that was the loudest pop for the day. That stalling got it all. Unfortunately for us the farmer arrived with the feet so this area will now be too noisy and we had to get up and find another place to shoot. <laughs> 42 meters. <laughs> nice one at 60 meters. It just that like a backflip. Right through the neck and this one somersaulted down to the floor and expired soon afterwards. The farmer finally delivered all the feet and we could return back to our tables for the last few shots. Got him, 84 meters.
got that stalling at 114 meters. What a stunning shot by Maggie to end the day with. Well, that is it. Our strategy worked out perfectly. The combination of the heavy 22 cal and the compact is a great combination to have in conditions like this and in our scenario. So we had loads of fun and we hope you did as well. If you did, please like the video and remember to subscribe and then we hope to see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.